Sounds it. Adam Michael Crumley. Brian Still. Josh Garvin. As of December 22nd, 2018, the United States government has been shut down. This is the longest shutdown in the United States history. President Trump made the decision to put the government on temporary shutdown due to the fact of getting the funds to build the border wall. He is wanting more than $5 billion. About 800,000 federal employees are being affected as of now. 320,000 people are being forced on unpaid leave. President Trump has signed a bill guaranteeing back pay to all the employees that are not receiving a paycheck due to the government shutdown. There does not seem to be an end in sight. There have been split reactions from people. A CBS poll shows 55% of Americans disapprove of the shutdown. Of those 55%, 47% of them blame President Trump for the shutdown. 30% blame Democrats and only 3% blame Republicans. Federal workers have been very upset with this and some have started protesting. The government is currently shut down due to the branches of government not being able to come together to set a budget uh, to fund the government. Um, and the executive branch is not thrilled with the legislative branch in terms of the parties, and so they decided to shut the government down. A wide variety of people are affected by the government shutdown, everywhere from TSA agents in airports um, to um, food inspectors to people who, uh, investigators, uh, air traffic controllers, um, those that rely on food stamps, Medicare, our taxes, um, people that need permits, people that um, uh, check for food safety to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Um, I believe the number is around 800,000 people, but if you really look at the totality of it, it's probably multiple of millions of us that are affected by the government shutdown. I absolutely feel personally that $5.7 billion for something that I will feel is ineffective is ridiculous. I do like border security. I think border security is very, very important, but we don't have people traversing um, and having thousands of people come across the border and cross the Rio Grande into us. Most of the problems occur at points of entry, though the southern border is important, and so there are things you can do that basically that $5.7 billion can be related to security or additional concerns than a wall, especially when you can do two things. You can go underneath ground, which is what happens between Tijuana and San Diego, or uh, the drug kingpin El Chapo, that's how he escaped in a ventilized tunnel, or it's the same thing in the Giza Strip between Israel and Egypt where a lot of times they can't traverse over because of the wall so they build tunnels underneath. Um, and so I feel that $5.7 billion for a wall, for slats, for a fence, for rainbow unicorns is not an effective use of money, though border security is essential because that's what allows our sovereignty to exist. Um, what I feel is it is that quintessential power struggle. Instead of looking at what is best for the citizens of the United States of America, they have that power play. And so I do not think that the government shutdown is a good thing. I did not think the government shutdown was a good thing when I was in college in 1995-96 when Clinton shut it down for a couple of weeks. Um, there are more effective things that we can do because whether it is insulin, whether it is things like food safety, airline safety, disease prevention, um, manufacturing, it is really, really, really important to keep our government opening and functioning.
President Donald Trump has decided to not shut down the American government. Instead, he has declared a state of emergency. This allows Trump to get more money than the $1.375 billion that Congress approved. Some people are in support of this because they think it will secure the border, while others are against it because they do not believe it should be categorized as a state of emergency. The girls' basketball team has a record of 14-1, and, and they have a conference record of 12-1. and They are having an eight-game winning streak, and their final goal is to make it to state. What has been your favorite moment of the season so far? When we beat Bellevue with a buzzer beater and getting to play with my sister. What has made you a better player on this team? It's really helped with my confidence, and all the girls on the team are really supportive. What is a personal goal for you this season? I really want to help out our team so we can go to state because it's been 18 years since Wilton basketball girls have. How do you think your team has been doing this season so far? I think our team is doing great. We are currently 14-1. and one. Uh, Our only loss is to West Branch, but we've accomplished what we needed to at this point in the season and hopefully uh, still have a chance to win the conference championship. What is your plan to get the girls ready for regionals? My plan is just keep doing what we've been doing, keep working on our shooting, uh, watch game film, make sure that we're prepared for every team that we face. The team has a lot of strengths this year. Do you know any area that needs improving? We definitely need to improve on our defense, just our team defense overall, and our rebounding, uh, especially on defense. Um, we need to get rebounds so we can get out and fast break a little bit more often. It'll we'll start February 9th. The teams play the 12th the 15th and the 18th. State starts the 25th. Our team has been doing good this year. We hope the Beavers do good. At the end of January, the weather changed and we began to get record low temperatures, a lot of snow, and then eventually freezing rain. At Wilton, we have had nine snow days, many early outs, and many late starts. Missing all the school moves we were going into June. Due to all the early dismissals and late starts, some classes such as A4 and Skinny have not been seen in a long time. Is it hard to decide to cancel school or not? Well, it's a very important decision and so I take it very seriously and, and uh, if at all possible we try to have school, but if we feel like the weather conditions will put students and at danger or risk, um, I'd much rather have school than have a, a fatal accident. What has to occur for school to be canceled? Well, I work uh, closely with the other area superintendents and uh, we follow the National Weather Service's forecast. If we're under a warning or an advisory, that certainly plays into it. Uh, but a lot depends on the road conditions, the air temperature, and uh, wind and snow and, and uh, just all the weather variables that are out there. How many early outs and late starts can we have before we have to make up? Well, right now, our last day of school is uh, on June 4th. And if we miss some more school, and it puts us to that last week of June, or that first week of June, um, as long as we fall within that range, we're not going to have to make up any um, days. What other schools are doing is they're adding uh, minutes to the front and end of the school day to make up for the lost time. But if we can finish school within that first week of June, we should be okay. But if we run into that second week, then we're going to have to look at uh, making some adjustments to our school day to avoid going into the second week. And how many days of school can we miss before seniors have to start to make them up? Well, luckily for seniors, uh, this is your year because you don't have to make up uh, snow days that are missed as long as the school board approves it in May when uh, they approve the list of graduating seniors. Right now we're ending school on June 5th, but in many weeks to come, different decisions may need to be taken into account to not further us into summer. Let's talk about Valentine's Day. Here are some facts about it. Fact number one, Dylan Miller's birthday is on Valentine's Day. Fact number two, one billion cards are exchanged each year. And fact number three, one billion dollars of chocolate is sold each year. You're going to be single on Valentine's Day. How does it feel to be single on Valentine's Day? I wouldn't know. I can get any girl I want. I feel great because it's close to my birthday and I love myself. I don't really care because boys are stupid. More chocolate for me. Lonely. Happy Valentine's Day. 
They play the 15th and the 18th. Also the 12th. As a freshman. Um, it was a little... No. Okay, I was... Let's talk about Valentine's Day. Here's some... Yeah, because that went over really well. Should I slouch like this? I don't know how should I sit. Please don't. A CBS poll showed that... Yep.